Today's video is a Dr. Glaucon Flekins reaction video. I said that right. I know I said it right. Glaucon Flekins reaction video. He's a very, very funny medical doctor all over the internet. He is the funniest, in my opinion. Mm, not in my opinion. In, my, in everybody's opinion. Let's just not argue facts, okay? Let's do this. Okay, where is our med student? Uh, I'm right here. Is this your first clinical rotation? Yeah, I just took step one last oh. week. What is this artery right here? Um, I'm not sure. Okay, what is this structure right here? Um, I don't know. Okay, what does this nerve innervate? Uh, uh, um, not the nerve, not the nerves, not the I really hated nerve questions, please. Like, ask me about anything else. Don't ask me about the nerves. I don't want to, mm -mm. Oh, this is terrible. And the, the thing is, what you see in theater is not what you see in your books, first of all. So even if you know you read, you are likely to just still not know what's going on because it's a really different. Books drawings are really pretty and really, really drawn so that you can look at it and say, that's this, this is this, this is that. It's not like that in real life, please. <laughs> and also, even if you knew what it was in the book, sometimes you don't even know what it is in the book. Later on, trying to identify it in theater, bruh. Please, I feel for this guy, please. It's really, really a struggle. <laughs> this guy is literally all of us at one point in medical school. Some of us even still happening right now. I really feel bad for him and for myself because this was me. This is still me sometimes. I'm not totally sure. Oh, that's a good question. I don't know. <laughs> Why is it that every time somebody says that's a good question, they actually do not know the answer? I've never heard anybody that actually knows the answer saying, oh, that's a good question. And this is the answer. No. Oh, maybe once. I don't know. But usually people that say that's a good question are people that rarely have the answer to the question. I don't know why that is. Let's continue along. Yeah, I don't know, but, but I'm going to read up on that. I just read about that, but I'm not sure. Oh, that's an interesting question. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. I'm just not sure. And you know, at this point, when you just keep going, I don't know, I don't know, I don't know, your self-esteem just drains. Like, you just start questioning yourself whether or not you're supposed to be here. Are you not? I feel bad for this guy. I feel bad for all of us at that time. Yeah, I really don't know. Hey, does anybody know a 21 letter word for Krebs cycle enzyme? Pyruvate dehydrogenase. <laughs> that was fast. That was fast, fast, please. <gasps> oh. But it makes sense because this person is coming from preclinical, so that means they have more knowledge about everything else that you read than practical things in the hospital and also just like actually identifying anatomy. The way that you see it in the human body. I remember one time in general surgery, because general surgery was my first rotation ever, and everybody else, since we rotate obviously as different schools, so everybody else that came from other schools had already rotated in other rotations for like five, four other rotations before coming to general surgery. And that was our first to begin with. We didn't know how to calculate, we didn't know how to draw blood, we didn't know like any basic things. <sighs> I really felt bad. At that point, the first two weeks were horrible, horrible, horrible. And then I remember, like, every question they would ask us about whatever clinical things, I would have no idea whatsoever. But I remember this one time we were in theater. So this one said, this one doctor or operating says, can, can anybody tell me about the coagulation cascade? So I was like, me. And everybody, back off. This is my question. Like, I was so excited to get asked something for pre-clinkers. I was so excited. I was like, yes, please, me. This is my moment, everybody. Please back off. Let me. This is mine. Mine. Nobody speak. Nobody move. This is all me. And I was like, da 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 Five ring done. Adjusted my lab coats, waiting on my compliments. They didn't come. But that's beside the point. The point is that I went back home that day feeling like I finally did something with my life. For once, since the beginning of my clinical rotations, it was a victory. To me, it was a victorious day. So sometimes preclinical knowledge actually does pay off. <laughs> Not just for puzzles or whatever that man is doing. But really, it's still important. 